Morning all. All I can say is, I love van life. <laughs> you can tell by my face that I love van life right now. So, we had a few choices last night about my sleeping arrangements and yes, I look like shit, but I don't care. <laughs> um, we had a couple of choices about my sleeping arrangements. Um, it was to either go back up top because the wind had gone down a bit. We were still on 30, 40 mile an hour winds. But it had gone down from 70 mile an hour winds. So go up there and basically it's essentially the same as staying in a tent, a normal tent. It's noisy, it's flapping around all over the place. It's wet, it gets damp. Um, or I can sleep down here, like how I did the night before where I dropped down and I just slept on this two seater for the rest of the morning. Or we were thinking of twizzling the chair back round and making a long through, I'd sleep in the cabin at the front. Or oh. Ruth, Ruth had an idea as well about swiveling, pulling this chair, because you can pull this chair, it's got bolts at the bottom forward so that you can go for dining table in here. And as you can see, Ruth's bed comes out to here. So you've got a bit of floor space, but Ruth's bed's there. So I could actually swivel that round and Ruth could go, hi Ruth. Is Ruth. Ruth could go that side and then I would sleep up top at this side. But All predominantly, she just gets her ass in here and deals with being cuddled. I keep getting propositioned. I've told her before. No! I'm trying to find someone comfy and warm for you to sleep. Every five minutes she's like, just come in. That was the plan anyway. I'm like, I'm not Go getting in you. there. I've heard about you, Ruth. I've heard about infamous stories about you and your hands. So no, <laughs> she's just like, come on, I'll be fine. I'm not very cuddly really. And I'm sitting there like, <laughs> right, if you go back through the videos and check out where the penguin shop is, see the reaction outside of the penguin shop from Ruth and tell me that's not somebody that's not a serial cuddler. Tell me, truthfully. Ruth? You're lying to me, aren't you? I'm not a cuddler, really. Mm -hmm. no. I would be clung on to. Look at it. It's even got pillows lined at the side as if somebody was there. It's from a back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, so. <laughs> the mat, it, it wasn't as bad as last night. I did stay up there. Oh, God. I say it wasn't as bad as last night, but you can see my face. It wasn't as bad as last night. Unfortunately, it was rain, a lot of rain as well. And it's all hitting on this side at the minute. So it's it has wet the mattress. Um, I don't know whether you guys oh, will be able to see. It's not me that's wet the mattress. Do you know, if I had pissed myself, this would be a very awkward place to piss in. <laughs> it's just down this side here where it's kind of wet the mattress and my covers are... Ooh, 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 ooh. My covers are pretty damp. Um, I managed to save my pillow last night because I realised I woke up part way through because I dropped my pillow and my phone down because obviously you've got the hatch and I've been moving around. It was quite noisy last night. Both me and Ruth were like, it's it's noisy. The wind was giving her as a battering because of where we're situated. Steamy windows, but very coastal. And the, oh, the sea is very dark and moody today and turbulent. So, yeah, that was that. That was a night. Besides that, yay van life, camping waha. <laughs> mhm. Mm Any other comments? <laughs> Wind, calm down so I can have a cup breakfast, please. Yeah, we did have. I, we had a really nice tea last night. Well, simple but nice. Yeah, I really fancied egg on toast. And I wanted bacon. Yeah, so we ended up doing it, but we have learned we have got to do the toast a lot earlier than anything else. The toaster takes a long time. So we had two pieces of toast each, um, two eggs, uh, sort of flipped because we don't do, uh, obviously, oil frying in here and stuff. I wouldn't anyway. Um, a couple of pieces of bacon, and that was delicious. Bacon and egg and then jam on toast. Yeah, because the toast took so long that afterwards we had it as dessert, so it worked out quite well, really. But if, and the good thing is, it's good for my stomach, like it's something that is, will behave itself, it's comfort food, but not heavy. So I think if we don't get anything sorted out, because this is a bit far few and far between, 
like town wise for our next one. It's only about an hour and a half away, I think. Our next campsite is an hour, and the nearest town is 15 minutes past that. So the plan is to go into the town. This is the first proper yeah. town we've seen in ages. It's quite a small town, isn't it? Yeah, it's only about 300 days. Um, so we're going to overshot our camping site by a little to go to the town and we're going to go and grab a bit of shopping, get some stamps to send our postcards, yeah. uh, send our postcards, and <laughs> maybe get some lunch or something, I don't know, depending on what's there. But on the way there is a cave thing of a walk with a cafe shack, so we're going to stop off there for coffee oh. okay. and a walk, because hopefully because slightly we're not following the coast as much today. Go slide the inland of hope if we're not gonna be <laughs> until we get back to the campsite because that's back on the side of the coast again. It's just to follow the coastline is not safe in a camper van for today. Well, seeing as I said I drive, drive. she's in for a no. I'll drive, it's fine. You've not slept at all. I'm driving. Do you know you it's taken me? It has right. taken me however many attempts to pry her away from the wheel. I'm going back on it. Get off my wheel. And you probably would have known. Actually, I don't think I filmed. Because I was driving, wasn't I? Were you filming? Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, you said I'm stressed. Yeah, but did. I filmed you. Yeah, was it on camera when you. I told her off yesterday. I don't know if you told me, told me off then. No, I don't ever tell you, tell you off. I don't even tell me for that section. No, I wasn't filming that no. section. She got too stressed to the point where she was then relating stress to me and I'm the driver. And I'm not a dead confident driver. This, strangely enough, I'm confident in. This I had no problem with. This I, I was quite happy to drive. Um, this was a piece of piss compared to city driving for me. But it is the opposite for Ruth, if you know what I mean. Like, because of the difficulties. She fucking isn't when she's stressed. And I had to say something because she was, you know, like when. I grabbed the seat when, in the side because I thought she was going to throw me in a ditch. Yeah. And all I did was pull over slightly. Uh, well, because we had cars Very coming off, <laughs> and um, there was an incident with a cattle grid. Yeah, that's camera. That's but... the one that was on the camera. So the incident with the cattle grid, you've got on camera, and I go a bit quiet because I'm like, hmm, okay, she's a bit. <laughs> and then further on down, a bit further on down, um, she starts to lose it a little. <laughs> so <laughs> just start to kind of like, Ruth, you need to stop it now because then you're going to make me nervous and that's not a good move. <laughs> Don't do it. Because we are in a van, it's higher up and Ruth is not comfortable um, on the roads vertically, shall we say, on some of these roads. Um, usually driving would be a distraction, whereas she hasn't got that distraction, so she's just getting wound up at the side. Though we did keep it speed-wise, we I was slower than you were. Respectfully so, but she she was having a moment because like the ditch, the ditch that she's talking about is probably a pothole of a roundabout. No, no, no! It wasn't the pothole, Ali. There was nothing near the other side. I saw a bigger ditch, and I thought you were going for it because I thought you were going to hit the pothole and flip. See, see what I mean? Like, this is a little bit extreme because if you were there, you wouldn't have thought, you wouldn't have been thinking. If you're on the passenger side, because when Ruth has been driving, I'm on the passenger side and I'm sitting there thinking, God, that edge is a bit close. But she's on the centre of the road. Do you see what I mean? So it looks different. Obviously, your perception is different. Um, yeah, it would have taken me a lot to get us into that ditch. <laughs> and she's sitting there going, You're going in the ditch. And I'm like, I I'm, I'm, I'm not. I can assure you, I'm not going to put us in a ditch. It's too expensive and it's not going to happen. So yeah, it took me a while to pry her off the wheel um, and she did start to calm down and she started to turn herself away from the things that were... Um, so if it was a really challenging part, she'd turn herself to face me and then turn herself back out again, depending on which side it was on. It's all right. I wish I could pass my calmness on to you. I'd be like, I'm telling you, it's just well, waves of coma. Leave behind the wheel, I'm happy there. Mm. I know, but then I don't get any experience of driving the Highlands either. And that's something I actually do enjoy. I know I that sounds strange. I just don't like being Yeah. Trying to get sort of like an even thingy. I don't drive. Um, Ruth does probably most of the driving if we're doing stuff. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I drive to when we've got fares and then we drive to Trenton, but she drives down to Sandbach, back and forth basically. So say Ruth does most of the driving. And then on this one, it's an experience for me to try and push myself driving wise. And whereas I'm not comfortable doing the city stuff, I've still ended up doing it, some of it. Briefly. Accident. That was yeah. Accident. yeah, briefly as well. Um, it wasn't like proper into the like, city. Oh, so you're gonna have to move. It'd be fine. It'd be fine. It'd be an easy. No. Well, we thought this was gonna take us round, and it, it kind of. It was meant to have the yeah. route change because of traffic. Yeah. Said it was quicker to go through instead of round. What? But it was fine, okay. and it was actually good clutch control practice um, for the diesel because as Ruth's finding, it's bugger for stalling out on you. Um, I don't have that problem too much, but that's because I drive a diesel, so I'm used to it. When I first started driving my car, and I've always had high clutches, so it doesn't really bother me. But this one does tend to just go pop, pop, and go. No one, no. It's trying to get an experience as well. As much as Ruth would quite happily drive the entire um, thing, and in the past I would have let her because I'd be too, you know, like I wouldn't put myself out there. But I do want to learn. I do want to experience these things, if you know what I mean. I only get one life. Why don't we do you drive us to the cafe shack? That's from the highway. That's what and I was then I'll do. drive us to the town. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. I was just gonna do the morning section, like try and get us out of the you know, get us to Yeah, the you can go to town that road again. Yeah. I will look at you. Oh no no, I'll be looking out this time because we're going back. She to behaved the... herself afterwards, you know. She calmed down after about after I'd said something to her. It probably took her about half an hour. But then she calmed down and she started being an assistive passenger. So, like when I'm, I, I said the same to her. I said, if I was on roads with these, the, with you as a passenger, I put my knitting down and everything, and I start to keep an eye, you know, sheep, side of the road, uh, vehicles ahead, vehicles behind, that sort of thing, because it's better on those kind of roads in this kind of conditions to have extra people looking out for you. She did, she calmed down and started being like, okay, there's a car ahead, because she could see round before I could, or you could pass in here, you can pull in there, blah, 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 sort of thing. So, she, I'm allowed to drive to the coffee place. Yeah, the next stop is the town. Actually, to be out. honest, I, I'm quite happy with that because I haven't slept a lot. It's, it does wake me up driving, does, but I haven't actually slept a lot. So. It's only about half an hour away, but it might take us a bit longer. The, the weather's road. still. And, yeah, and we might have flooding. Yeah. That's a good point. We better make sure we fill up on water and everything because if it's flooded, mm. we might be stopping before we get to any coffee and just waiting it out and coming back here and paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> day eight. We are on day eight of van life, doing the route NC five hundred. NC five hundred. I don't remember these things. Around Scotland, um, we're up in the Highlands at the moment. We're actually towards the peak of or the west. Yeah, of the west. Um, not as high as we're going because we're going to the Isles of Skye, aren't we? Or is that off to the side? Yeah. That's off to the side. We've been as high north as we've been. Okay. Not so more you can kind of tell as well. I mean. You'll see from the footage, it is amazing up here. A bit scary, and um, the weather's gone for a turn for a bit for the worse the last couple of days. So I've just disappeared off to have my morning brew and cigarette, because we all have our bad habits, and to get out of the way of Ruth so that she can cook breakfast, because she wants to cook breakfast. Um, so I've been booted out, which was nice, because it gives us a bit of space away from each other as well, it gives Ruth the room to do what she needs to do, because there's not a lot of room in here and it gives me a chance to go and have a wander around. So this is the breakfast that Ruth has made this morning. And then if I can do this, that's because Ruth's going to have to watch the camera. Got it? Yep. Okay, so down here we're trying out Scottish sausage. Yep. That sounds wrong, but it is. It's like a flat sausage. Ruth was saying some, most of them are like beef maybe, but this one's pork, it's really nice. We've got a couple of eggs, we've got some bacon, and then we've got the tomatoes and... Um, exotic mushrooms. Exotic mushrooms, yes. We've got a pack of exotic mushrooms as well. And I've stuck a bit of mayonnaise on there because I like, I like mayonnaise on pretty much everything. I'm going to drive us the little bits, probably about... Sorry, this is a washing up here. Uh, it's about 40 minutes. About a 40 minute drive to the village because we're going to pass... To the cave. Sorry, to the cave, yeah. going for a walk. Ooh. Um, we're going to go to a cave and have a wander around um, and I'm going to drive us there as a little coffee bar or something, oh, you were saying, if it's, if it's open. I highly doubt it in this weather, to be fair, that it will be, but that doesn't matter. So we're going to go for a walk this morning. Uh, we need to be off here at 11, so we're going to eat our breakfast and go do the washing up and get up. Yep. I'm going to drive us to the cave and then Ruth's going to take over after that and drive us down. We're going to pass our designated campsite 
by a bit only probably about five or ten minutes I think down the road because we want to go to the town because we haven't seen a town for about three days and um, to pick up some shopping and stuff like that uh, and if you are coming up here I can't stress make sure that your pantry is full if it is out there and you can see it which I highly doubt but there's power ports obviously for, obviously for you to hook up your van but right next door is fresh water taps on this one so you don't have to go too far um, and the facilities are very nice so make sure you stock up on your water make sure you've got plenty of gas and make sure that you have plenty of food at this time of year because in the high summer where the school holidays are it's more expensive there are more restaurants more likely to be open but because it is this weather mm -hmm. they're not opening they're no. not expecting people no. it's not safe for them to get there which is understandable yeah, yeah. It's not worth it sometimes. But if you're coming up, just make sure you've got some basics in, so you yeah. don't stop. Yeah. Not a sulky face, that's a ooh, kind of looking about the same. It's good to have some time where you're not in each other's faces. You know, whether you, you're a couple, whether you're like me and Ruth, where you're best mates and you're doing something for a week or two weeks, it's always good to have some private time to yourself. I'm water kind of. Mm -hmm. Look at that view. I'm a big fan of that. Um, you've got to have your own mental space if you want to be. And as you can see, she's over there, she's having her own mental space. She might be having a mental breakdown, I guess. Only she would know. <laughs> but I should imagine she feels the same way as I do about it. It's just breathtaking. Truly, look around. An amazing time. Right, I better get back to her otherwise she'll she's waiting for me.
come away from the water a bit. So, it's, the highlands are changeable, the weather's changing again. Um, but this is beautiful. Can't tell you how happy I am right now. Probably doesn't show on my face, but I, I am happy. Very much so. So up there is where the caves are, but as you can see, the, we've had a lot of rainfall. Ruth's just gone and had a little recce up further on. Um, there's been a lot of rainfall, and what we're seeing now, which is absolutely beautiful, is not, it shouldn't be this heavy. The water shouldn't be this, yeah, it shouldn't be this wide, it shouldn't be this spread out. Um, so we won't make it up to the caves today because that would be a bit dangerous. We're not cavers, we don't know what we're doing, so it's probably not a good idea. But, yeah, Ruth just said, because it's loud, she might not hear. There's no phone signal either, so if anything happens, we're, nobody knows we're here, so. So pretty, hi Ruth. Are you enjoying your walk, Ruth? I am, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. We're in the Highlands, Ruth. <laughs> no, we've got blue skies actually above us at the minute. Cloudy but blue. I don't really want to go back down. I've got to walk back to the car anyway. <laughs> yeah, Ruth's driving this next half down to the shops and then to us to the campsite. So she's back behind the wheel where she's happy. I did get to Highland Drive and may I have, if anybody actually knows me personally, I want extra points because they know how much of a wimp I am. And if Ruth had just said, oh no, no, I'll drive, I would have usually just let her and I haven't this time. Though I have probably just given Wilma a bit of a jerk on her clutch yes. slightly. Um, we went up into a car park and it had this weird kind of like, you could see where the water sort of makes the grooves in the ground. So it was quite hilly and I kind of got stuck on the hill bit. And instead of what I should have done is released my um, clutch, changed it down into first instead of second and rolled back a little bit whilst I'm doing that so that it just relaxes it. Instead, I was doing a true Goodwin thing where I'm like, oh, I'm going to make this hill. So I'm driving it. So she wasn't happy with it. She's okay. She's okay. She's all right. She's forgiven me for the time being. Oh my God. I so badly want a photo shoot here. This would be the place. This would be the most amazing place to do a photo shoot. And it's not difficult. It is difficult on the whole to get to if you don't live in the area, obviously. Um, but it is worth it. We do camping and stuff, so. Right, I'm going to go and enjoy the walk on the way back. And I will catch up with you when we've done shopping and we're trying to Okay guys, so I'm gonna 
pop Ruth on the screen for a minute. So, Hi! We've just arrived at our next destination. We've been and done the shopping like we said this morning. We've just gone and done that. We've just had food at the most beautiful place ever. Um, but we'll explain that to you in a minute. We've just pulled into our next campsite, What's which is? Ademir Point. And if I just turn I you... No, not that way. This way. That'll be helpful. And this is our slot. We are literally facing out. So it's going to be a bit windy in the top set for me tonight. But the views, the views are worth it. We've been trying to figure out actually how much sleep I've had in the last <laughs> two days. And it's been about five hours. Four, anywhere between four and six hours I've had of sleep in the last two days. But that's the way it goes sometimes. But this is stunning. Um, I choose another good one. She did. She did choose another good one. Um, my battery's going to die soon, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But we've literally just been to this place. I'll let Ruth explain because it saves me turning around. Uh, it's the Seafood Shack in Ulipol. Pool. Ulipol. Pool. Um, so the lady that cooked our food is the owner. Um, she's there every day. She's dead nice. She's lovely. And um, so apparently her husband, in the early hours of every day, goes and catches her fresh fish for the shack. And so believe me, it does reflect in the taste. They've got the most lightest, crispest batter. We both had the same. We had the haddock, uh, goujons. Mm. Had these beautiful, massive new potatoes and a salad. simple salad, but the dressing was amazing on it. But no, so yeah, so her husband goes and um, catches a fish from Uli Pa's pot. So it's literally Scottish fish Ooh. and brings it back. Also, they've got oh. the nice setup. The, the town looks a bit... It's nice. It's, a nice it's not town. a town apparently, it's a village. Sorry, it's a village. It's a nice village. It's not dead villagey, you know what I mean? It's not dead chintzy, it's quite open plan. I'll say that way. Um, but this place, they've got a lovely little spot where it's hidden away. You walk round and it literally is like a food um, van, open. Mm. Um, but they have a seating area that's covered that goes out onto a nice view. They've got these great big lovely jars, which you'll see, I'll show you on the footage we've got, of fresh flowers on the tables and it's just a nice atmosphere. So we had a can of sugar-free iron brew and we had the haddock fusions, rosemary potatoes and a salad. And that was £11.50. 50. 50. And it was a good portion. So ten fifty, I think for the haddock and then it's a pound for the can. Yeah. And I've got that much haddock, I've brought some back to make a sandwich later on. I ate my own because, yeah. I'm not a big eater today, am I? I've no, you're not eating my breakfast. Well today. Um, I think the lack of sleep's not helping you. No. So I've had half my breakfast, that lovely breakfast that Ruth made me earlier. I couldn't finish it, so she just put it in the fridge for me tonight. And then I've got my fish for tomorrow. The good thing when this happens is, is that at least I spread the food out. Nothing goes yeah. to waste. And then I go, what the hell am I eating? Yeah, she's got to figure out what she's having tonight. But we have done shop, so... Right, we're going to go and get set up and I'll get the battery on this bugger. But we have got some amazing footage for today. For the last two days where we've been stuck in the van, this today has definitely made up for it. So, oh, look at that. The sun's come out. Look at the colours. She's picked a good one, don't you think? Hmm? Yeah. Leave your comments in the box. Or berate her, whichever one you want. Just make sure you put Ruth at the front of it. You guys love me. Just hate her, it's fine. <laughs> oh, love face. <laughs> right, be back friend in Friend love, it's friend love. <laughs> I've told you, I'm not getting in that bed with you. <laughs> right, we'll be back in a bit.